He came to avenge his masters. <laughs> Classic tale of revenge. It's like reverse John Wick. Hey guys, welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, last we left off, we escaped our uncle. Nope, that was the other one. <laughs> last we left off, we started in the village of Kin. I think that's what they called it. Kin Sanctuary. And um, the Mongols had po learned poison. And they had poisoned that town and burnt it to the ground. And then they shot us with a poison arrow and um, Yuna saved us. And then we woke up at Fort... Jogaku, and we rode from there with a new horse to this place. And I think this is our new, like, base of operations. It is the, what do they call it? Jogaku Temple. And I think we're just going to continue with the main missions for now, and then we'll, we'll, um, or should we explore? Maybe we'll explore a little bit, guys. We've been doing missions for the last few videos. I kind of want to have a look around the snow tundra. So let's explore a bit and see if we can clear some Mongol bases and find some stuff. We might as well. My overall goal is to 100% this game, so... We might as well look around. Where is he leading us? Oh. A pillar of honor. The island's keeper. Uh, not my favorite. Oh, that's the one we found. Yes, I like that. That's the one we found when we didn't have our swords on us. Our poor horse died. We got a... <laughs> we got a renter right now. I don't know how, how long he'll be around for, but... We're renting this one. Feels like some kind of Mongol base. Or not, she's pretty quiet. Oh, this poor horse. <laughs> Did someone just leave him? Is anyone here? Oh, there is someone here. Don't mind me. I'm just exploring your house. Did they just say the ghost? Bloody path from one end of Tsushima to the other. I just hope they save some of their steel for the invaders. Are they talking about um, a ghost in Yuno? If so, I'm right here, guys. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything here. Let's move on to this place the Izumi village. Yeah, I think we'll just do some riding, guys, in this one. We'll take it a little easy. We'll see what's going on around the island. I'm liking this uh, change in setting to the snow tundra. Oh, yeah, we got a Mongol base down here, I think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did I kill that guy when I kicked him? <laughs> Just shattered his sternum. <laughs> He's taking a break. <laughs> Just destroyed him with that kick. Soon we won't even need a sword. All right, this place looks heavily modified. Boss. Or <laughs> modified, <laughs> fortified. <laughs> heavily modified. Shit. Nope, we can't do it. <laughs> it must be a mission. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume a lot of these bases are up here. Let's just set a marker and we'll travel. I'm gonna cross this bridge I saw back here. Um, is this horse worthy? <laughs> is this a horse regulated bridge? Horse certified, I should say. Dear, I'll never get over that sound. They sound terrifying. Oh, he had a bonus attack at the end. These guys are wearing different armor, so you know that they're, um, <laughs> you know that they're bad. <laughs> they're bad news. They have, like, gold and green this time. Now, is there anything up here, or did I just murder all those people for nothing? Well, not nothing. They are the Mongols. Oh shit. Straight hung that guy. Nada. <laughs> I was trying to gather those supplies, but I guess the game had other ideas. Alright guys, we'll just keep riding. What kind of animals do we have up here for... It's still just the pigs. <laughs> we can only fight um, for hides. As far as I've gathered, it's just pigs and bears. And the dogs from the Mongols. I don't think the deer will give you hides, which is a strange thing to say because... Normally that's where you would get it from, I think. But I've killed um, quite a few and they've never given me a, a hide from them, so... Is that guy wearing a helmet? Ooh, she's hard to tell out here. Yeah, they got the green banners and stuff. I think to represent the poison. <laughs> so you know these are poison enemies. Oh shit. Yeah, I just saw the aura. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice moves. What do I have on for throwables? Heavenly Strike. These guys are um, definitely doing more damage when they hit. Oh, that guy's trying to run. <laughs> he dropped the shield and was piecing out. Was easy enough, guys. We have a Mongol artifact. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering: Does every liberated base have an artifact? An artifact in it? If so, that makes it a lot easier to go back and get them, because we'll know where they're at. I just don't think I've been searching for them as well as I should have been. <laughs> We've been kind of disregarding them. Let's do a little gathering here. We've already been in that one. Alright guys, I think we're done in this camp. Let's uh, have a look at the map and see what that cleared out. I'm going to keep making my way, I think, to the coast here. What the hell? There's a dog? Why was he not uh, in on this fight? <laughs> Did he just wake up? He came to avenge his masters. <laughs> Classic tale of revenge. It's like reverse John Wick. Very cool. Look at this. Their buildings seem a lot more um, structurally sound up here. They look more, what would you call it? Sturdy, I should say. Except when they're on fire. <laughs> Not so much. Is this a brewery? Assassinate the enemy from above. Rescue the hostages. Okay, that one should be pretty easy. We assassinated everyone from above, so... If I jump, can I assassinate them from here? work as well as I thought. <laughs> oh shit, he interrupted my uh, heavenly strike.
We got our deserter. <laughs> Get back here, you coward. <laughs> hey, we'll have to do the secondary on the next group. So many Mongols with poison. Free at last. Be careful up there. <laughs> That's an odd thing to say. <laughs> he commented on the poison and then immediately was like, thanks. Thanks, brah. Assassinate this guy. Is it going to let me? There we go. That is done, guys. Dog? Is he the only one left? The dogs, I should say. Put him out quick. Oh, poor dogs. <laughs> you just mind his own business, smelling the snow. Alright, guys, we got two more of these hostages to find. I'd given up hope before you came. Go. And stay safe. Where? Upwards, maybe? Can't climb that one. <laughs> Too high. So Alberto's leading us somewhere. I think everything's too high here. Yeah, we can't get any higher from this point of view. Can we just go around? There must be a path up, I assume. Hmm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Further than I thought. to go down that way. I think we'll finish this though before we do. We won't get distracted just yet, bird. Okay, so... Where the hell are the rest of these guys? <laughs> I 
I like the crunch of the snow. I always enjoy that sound in the winter time as I'm walking about. What is this supposed to be? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we got some more hostages that obviously aren't up here. Where could they be? Oh, I see some Mongols. They're down there. Now can we get down without dying? <laughs> I was gonna jump to that roof, <laughs> to that roof, and then uh, assassinate him. But oh yeah, we got a full house. <laughs> you were a little too late on that one. <clears throat> Alright guys, um... We got two down below. And one, three below. guys what a relief thank you Lord. now you're safe now our last hostage is out here to the right Easy enough, guys. That one was pretty simple. Thank you for saving us, my lord. We were given this piece of armor and asked to protect it. Hmm. But I think it's much safer in your care. Who gave you this? He didn't stay long enough to explain. Strange. I'll look after it. Interesting. Piece of Mongol armor. Custom built for Koden Khan. Interesting. So. Eventually, are we going to get Mongol armor if we build this? That's cool. Liberated. The brewery is safe. <laughs> we will drink once more.
Okay, now I'm gonna go around the backside and see what that bird was trying to lead us to. My Lord. <clears throat> Just to make sure we didn't miss anything. What's this buddy need? Terrible things are happening along the roads in Sago, my lord. The Mongols are skilled in using terror to control people. This was more than that. I saw them hang a man from the trees while his father watched. I still hear his father's screams. I'll find them before they harm any others. A rumored location. Got a question mark here. That's probably what the bird was trying to uh, lead us to. That's the rumored location. Let's go check out this question mark. It's probably a hot spring or um, a pillar of honor, perhaps. What else does the bird lead us to? Bamboo stands? It could be a bamboo stand. As well. I thought for sure that one yellow flower was something you could collect. <laughs> Apparently not. Oh, hot spring. That's where I would be all the time if I lived in this environment. <laughs> A lover's touch. <laughs> Let's do that one. <laughs> Wish I had some company in here. It's been too long. Oh, uh, shit. I always kind of assumed him and Yuna would get together, but maybe they're just not, um, maybe at the end of the game, perhaps. I don't know. <laughs> it's been too long, he says. So, I'm going to go back down here real quick, because I saw a bamboo post over here. A bamboo strike. So we'll go do that one. <laughs> that one seems simple enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> of course I say that. Oh, nice. We get one more resolve. Okay, so what else we got around here? Maybe we'll travel towards this and just see what we find along the way. I like this whole just exploring to see what's going on. I've been considering going back and playing Red Dead 2 and doing a playthrough of that. Um, I never beat that myself, to be honest. I started playing it and never got through it. If you guys would like to see that, just let me know in the comments. Um, I looked it up just to see how long it was. It's like 60 hours or something. <laughs> so, uh, judging by my half hour playthroughs, we would have about um, 120 videos. So... Unless I do just the main story and don't focus on anything else, I think it was like 41 hours or something. But even then, that's like... Jesus. From where? They're all looking up the hill. Oh, we can't help her. <laughs> Oh, right there, catapult. Alright guys, let's help these folks out. 
before we move on. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I do Red Dead, if I should switch back to doing one hour playthroughs. Just because, like, that's a lot of videos <laughs> for one game. 120. But, you know, if that's how it ends up, that's how it ends up, I guess. <laughs> Guy with his cannon. Slowly dying. There we go, we saved those people. I don't know if we can call that a liberated town. There's not, not much left to it. Shit. Alright guys. Let's ride towards this mission. And then I think we might end this one soon. Is this a Mongol base? It is. Okay, we're gonna end this one here, guys. <laughs> and when we come back, we will uh, tackle this. And I think we'll just keep exploring Tsushima, just to... Um, or the upper, upper region, Kamiyagata, just to liberate some places. We've got two already of 15. And I just kind of want to clear some fog a bit before we keep doing the missions because I feel like we're close to the end of the game. We probably don't have much left to it. And then after that it's just a matter of collectibles which will go pretty quick I think. Since they're all pretty much marked on the map for the most part. Like we have a ton of question marks. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I appreciate all the views and support guys. I really do. Um, if you guys are liking these videos maybe hit that like button and Subscribe. Yeah, you could do that if you'd like to. Yeah, <laughs> that'd really help out. All right, guys. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, this is Ghost of Tsushima. Thanks again. I'll catch you next time. Thanks.